Hello. Hi Hamilton. Good to see you all. Hola, Maria. wait for a couple of minutes for people to join in. <coughs> Hope you had a nice week. Hi Kashish. for another one minute and then we'll start. You're able to hear me, right? Quite a few people not uh, giving a try for the last week's uh, pattern tiger. Was it too challenging? Because I had very few people sharing it across to me.
even. Hi, Smokes. Hola. Okay, we'll start a session. Um, let's do the introduction of the tile tools. Before that, let's do our relaxation. Um, let's do a conscious deep breathing, gratitude, and then we will go to the tools and then we will do our practice and then we'll create our time hope you will like today's session and uh, before i start the session uh, just want to leave your comment on my igtv that makes me more happier so so if you could leave your comment because the live doesn't get the comments what you leave so leave it on my igtv I would really be happy to see it and I would want you to try more of you to try it. It is more than what you create, it is the process and what is it important. So, so let's relax ourselves, relax our shoulders, relax our neck. Relax your hand. Make yourself comfortable position to sit where you feel comfortable. Keep only what you need on your table. Let's do a normal breathing. Let's take a normal breathing and then let's take a conscious deep breath and another three deep breaths. Take in good thoughts while you're inhaling it and exhale whatever thoughts which you have. Just exhale it out and end of the th breathing. Ex this one, let's do our gratitude. Whom you want to give a gratitude at this particular time, and then we start our session. So let's take nice deep breath and exhale it out. Take another nice deep breath and slowly exhale it out. Take another nice deep breath and slowly exhale. While you're taking now the deep breath, take nice thoughts, memories which you want to cherish. Take a nice deep breath, bring in a smile on your face. Exhale out your thoughts which is bothering you, anything which you do not want, exhale it out. Let's do it two more times. Take a nice deep breath and exhale it out. Take another nice deep breath and exhale it out. Let's thank whomever you want to thank from your heart and mind give a gratitude and then slowly open your eyes thank you so thanks for joining me so this is just to say that uh, this is my copyright uh, notification which says that and disclaimer which says that I'm a certified Zentangle teacher certified by Zentangle Inc. to teach Zentangle art form and uh, this session is only for you to view, share, spread the happiness, no commercial use of these sessions. Um, Zentangle is a beautiful art form created by Maria and Rick and uh, it's their copyright and trademark art form. You can find more details in Zentangle.com. And what we're going to use a tile which is a Zentangle three and a half inch tile. Uh, if you do not have this three and a half inch tile, you can use it in a, a sketchbook or a good art paper or a normal paper which doesn't bleed. So we will be using this along with pen. I'm going to use Sakura pen, Sakura Micron pen, uh, graphite pencil, and uh, stuff. Primarily, the Sakura Micron is what we strongly recommend because it is good archival. 
if you do not have a sakra pen you can use any normal pen which doesn't bleed bleed is that what we mean doesn't bolt the 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 pen doesn't bleed out from your paper and your artwork is not lost and we use the entangled graphite pencil so if you do not have these graphite pencil you can use a normal uh, graphite pencil and a stub uh, you can use a stub or a tortillon or a uh, earbud this is what it is the the finish of it primarily these are used to give a three dimensional effect to your artwork in the end so we use it in the end so that's it so let's go to our so let's go our session so we're going to do with two patterns today So we're going to do two patterns today. One is called as a Plumley, uh, which is by Don Collins. I hope you can get to see it. I'll just write it again. It's Plum Plumley by Do Do Don Collins, and the other one is going to be a Chemistry, which is by Maria Mary Ann S D Certified Centangle Teacher. So this is a floral, and this is a grid. You can do a perfect grid, or you can do it little wonky. So we will, I will demonstrate, and then we will. So this is a floral pattern. So this, you make a small circ, uh, dot, circle or a dot in the right, and then we will draw lines, which is going in different directions in a cyclic way. You can keep this to five or a six, what you feel. And then what we do, we do an aura with a very thin, it's like this. So we make this, and then we do and then we what we do, we draw from year to year, from year to year, from year to year, we join it up. Right. So it's not that you need to have five or how much ever you can do a side. This one, your line strokes, you can do that. Right. So just go. a thin line or a thick that's fine and then join this Either you want to ink it up, you can ink it up, or you want to leave it white with a shading pencil, you can do with your graphite pencil, you can shade it, or you can ink it up. Right? Is this pattern clear? So we'll go to the next one. The next one is uh, called as the chemistry. This is, I'm just going to draw a firm straight grid. I'm not doing a wonky grid and I will show you what a wonky grid is. So we draw straight line. And we aura it. We again draw another straight line. We aura. It. Depends on how much you have space on your tile or the space in your tile which you're going to define it to draw this pattern. Right? Then what we do is 
this particular place and this particular place we're going to draw a small circle like this we draw a small circle like this and then what we do we draw a so we just make it so instead of drawing it so what I'm going to show you here instead of drawing like this we are doing a small as if it is inside the tube this particular thing is going inside that and then what we're going to do is ink it up so it looks like this is going inside this particular centrist piece same thing we're going to do here so this is what you will get to repeat in most of the places so you join it go around it and then go Veronica, thanks for joining, but I'm not understanding. I can just get to see Hola and Maya. Right. So you can do the same thing. In every of these junctions, we will be doing that. ink it up now assume you don't want to ink this particular you don't want to ink it up you want to do something else then what you have to do is you have to ensure those grids of yours are drawn in pencil because I am going to ink it I have drawn it in pen and for demonstration obviously I am using a pen but uh, in general when you are creating your tile uh, just Remember that what you want to do with this two particular thing, depending on that, draw your grid in pencil or a pen. Hey, thanks, Veronica. Good to see you here. So you just need to so I'm just going to show what a wonky one is so here the grid if you see it the grid is not grid is not straight so I have drawn it in, in a wonky way which is I have done it this way just a wavery kind of a line I've done it something like this it need not be in the same direction so you can even do this also a little wonky depending on but ensure that you have space here I have not left space because it will become to this one so but remember to have space I have just put it up here this is just so when you are doing it such more wonky but ensure that there is space between these two so there should be space here right so this is a example of this is a straight and this is little on the wonkier side and a swatch card of the same plumely out here so we're going to mix these two pattern and we're going to create our tile today So we're going to mix this and this pattern put together we're going to create our tile so is this clear pattern one and pattern two so pattern one is plumly which is a floral pattern and your chemistry which is a grid we could do it a straight grid or a wonky grid which is what I've given you as reference and this was what it was so right 
So let's go to the creating the tie. So I'm just going to keep this back. Keep these patterns out here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw as usual my four dots. The methodology of Zendangle and I'm going to join the four dots. Your joining line need not be straight. It can be wonky also. That also is fine. I'm just going with a straight to the right. So when I'm doing this, it's easier to do, draw a line right at the center so that you get a nice, right? And then another line out here on middle of these two lines, middle of these two lines and another. So we will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, we get it. The same way what we're going to do is, I'm going to draw another line. I'm going to draw another line which is just dividing that so we've got not an equal size but a kind of that's fine that we don't have an equal and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line again parallel to this I'm drawing it in a pencil now and then I will be doing with the pen. Right. So we're getting a 4 by 4. Right. What I'm going to do is before I want to do it in the pen, what I can do is I'm just going to do my placement of where I'm going to keep my flowers. So maybe I can do that once. Let me do the uh, the ink it up this grid. I'm not going to do the center junction point. I'm going to do only the grid part of the chemistry pattern out here right now. I'm just doing the grid part of the chemistry. Since I'm inked it up, so your flowers will come in because if I'm going to do it on top of this, you will have. So when you're doing your placing of your flowers, we just have to be careful on that part. So I'm here, I'm not going to ink it up. So just to demonstrate that. I take my pencil again and I'm doing my... done it and I'm going to do another one out here right I'm going to do another flower out here Here what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my chemistry so this part will get overlapped on it. So this will look like it's gone at the back.
so here if you see it my work is on a pencil so this grid I have not drawn it in pen so it is there so when I draw my flower it will be fine So let's finish these flowers and then we will continue further this is is just going to show you You want to draw the flower directly, you can do it. Now if you see this one my lines have not come properly so I am just going to do my own so that's why when you do with your pencil and then you want to correct it you can correct it with your Now what I'm going to do is because there are lines out, it will not get see here, so it's fine. Now if you want this to be, it will disappear because when I'm going to ink my shade with my pencil, those lines will not be seen. So I'm fine with that. So but that's why you said, I said you can do it with the pencil and then do the grid. So let's finish these fly and then again do another some more flowers. So let's just do this. And these are all going to get covered by the the chemistry round circle junction circle so that's fine but ensure that you're doing it in one direction this the line which is coming out as sparks and do it little curvy Now I can, what I can do is because I, I feel the line is prominent, like I said, I can ink these spaces also.
and remember to rotate your tile if you that will be more easier you will not be stressing on to your hand movement here i'm not going to have the chemistry this is the flower is going to be on top of it so right if you're wondering how it is going to come up is it's going to come up something like this So if you see this, this is what was done. So if you see that flowers on the top, the flowers is on the top, right? And here, if you see the flower is behind. So this is something where he, something like this is what we will be trying to do that. Is this the are you able to see the tile now what I'm going to do is again I'm going to keep my pen down and I'm going to mark my flap positions don't want to be too crowded i'm going to just leave the space a little empty so i'm just going to make another flower here and another one here these are indication lines so when you're drawing with your pen you can just change it I have done my position now I am just going to take my pen and I am going to ink it up so wherever you find your spokes is not proper you can correct it with your pen so you can just see how I will be doing that
color of petals so your petals need not be of the uniform size or direction but these strokes helps you to see i moved it up here you see this pencil stroke and this is what the origins reason is that i if you draw the junction and then draw the flask then it becomes little difficult so doing this and then overlapping with a thing and also you can ensure that you don't want a bigger junction with this circle one ops you can do a smaller one also so depending on how you want to place it you can do that it's like a crescent small crescent moon is what you're trying to do it out here by doing an aura out here so we can ink it up because anyway my so i may ink some petals i'm i'm not going to ink it up so that's okay it look nice that not that it need not all have to be the same right. so i'm just going to do here follow one of our uh, certified and angle teacher from india her name is neha she has amazing tiles and hers is very organic and i'm not too comfy on doing organic ones so this is one of such this i had seen her in one of our sessions she had done this flower pattern so so it was there in my bucket list to do it nimneha one more year i mean these three will just finish it and if you see here the spoke here the spokes also is not here the spokes is also not on the right thing so i will be correcting it 
so your pencil is just a reference for you to the last two this will go little beyond nine very little When you're doing this, do it little curvy, don't do a straight one. done with our flask so that why well, that's why I'm going to go my ink my grid out here which I didn't inked it up so now I'm going to ink it up right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my the junction points I'll ink it up in the end so I'm just going to draw the junction points now so this is flowers on top so that's going to be right because the flowers on top here also is going to be the same thing Actually, now this shouldn't have been inked because you have an ink and an ink. So, right? So, if you want, what we can do is so we can just ink this up completely so that the flower looks as if it's on the back so right so we'll come and ink it up later because i'm going to use a broader pen to ink it up So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sh show no, I can't show it because you can do a bigger one that depends on how is your line and your this particular line is getting placed so we're just going to leave it here 
here it is going to be and it's going to go behind right so you've done everywhere the junction points I'm just going to use a little thicker wherever I need because this is a little broader one so you have to be careful so I'm using so wherever you need a little on the edges you can just leave it and use the other pen to ink it up so just leave it right at the center you can just go ink it up because you feel it will go out of it so just the major junction is what you can ink it up I'll use the other pen and then ink it up I mean no all those edges I will do that with the can you see that done the major inking with a broader one now I'm going to use a little broader pen and I'm just going to all these edges I'm going to just do a fine How did you like today's style? I go back and ink those spaces which has those white and the edges and I have left this one to be inked so I'm just using it so we will play it with two patterns today with two patterns today one is the uh, so I pulled it up and I've kept the flower back so we played with two patterns plumely and chemistry
not bad. We're going to finish our tile. We're not going to extend it up. All these junction points I'm just going to put graphite and I'm going to do another one more thing is that I'm going to put just going to put these corner ones I'm just going to give it a little curvy finish junction points I'm just going to put graphite right. and then I'm going to use my Tab and I'm just going to pull it up a little. That's the flower, sorry. And then each of these flowers, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do on the edges, just on the edges, I'm going to do a little graphite. Just the inner one, I'm just doing a graphite. Pulling it up a little. Right. So let's finish for all the flowers. Just very little graphite. I'm not putting in too much of graphite. Just putting it very little. I'm just doing a very simple shading. And if you see here, I didn't put the graphite, but with the what is there on the total lot, 
with that itself I am shading it up here right so now if you want to give a little more depth you can go and shade wherever it is on top and if you want to do all those you can go in and do it all even shaded here When you want to do those things and because it's a smaller area uh, ensure that your pencil is sharp to give you the light right and if you feel still feel you can just right and this Our tile is ready now if you want some more or whatever you want to do it if you want you feel like you need that to be placed you can draw a line a kind of a, a stem kind of a stuff with it's just curvy and trying to do that you can try doing it I've just placed it up like that You can also do a small of little of inking on the edges of the petals this the outer one you can try doing that so you can keep doing it right so this is what I had created now this is something what I had created so let's me sign my tile own it up appreciate it So this is something what I had done it and these are the swatch cards which is here to show you that you can do a wonky grids very simple and we did this border so you can actually go to the borders and and just pull the graphite You can still go back and do that also. So did you like the session? Can I see? If you have a white jelly pen you can just give a loss to it by just giving a small
comments on the tile? Did you enjoy it? So, we'll see you next Tuesday. Do create and do share your creativity, your time. Tag me. Do comment if you like the session. Thanks, Lady Ba. Anyone wants to say anything else? Otherwise, a ciao. See you till we meet up next Tuesday. Any questions by anyone? Bonito, thank you. Alan Seppi, see Alan Seppi. So stay safe, stay at home, and small message for you all stay home. small message to you all stay safe see you all ciao